Hello, promotion party tubers! It's finally that time. Off screen, we did, well, not really off screen, only for the live tubers. Off screen for the future tubers. We did a little bit of grinding and got all for one to level 20. It didn't really take all that long. You wouldn't have expected it to take very long. But uh, now we've got everyone ready to promote. So let's do a big old promotion party. Uh, what did you miss? We had a look at Higgins, the ninja. He's not very good. Only five movement. And he doesn't have any magic yet, at least. So, blah. Um, what else happened while we were leveling up? Sarah got aura level two. Um, at level ten vicar, I think. Just from healing. Uh, May got bolt level two at level 20. Which doesn't help her very much. She needs a level four spell. Uh, Chester borrowed the Robin's arrow. We'll get some better weapons. We're gonna go shopping pretty quick here. Slade did not get any new spells, I don't think. Natasha did not get any new spells, and Deanna got Bolt level 2 at level 20. So, that's as good as it gets for pre-promotion. Time for... Wrong button. Please help me. We need to get promoted. All right, let's start at the top. Deanna. Yes. You'll become a hero. Then in the name of the light, become hero. No guitar solo. Not like when you recruit somebody. Okay. So did that give you anything? <laughs> More weapons. I actually don't know if they get any stats for promotion in this game. I forget how that works. Let's pay more attention to Natasha. So, um, just keep an eye on some of those stats. Like, say, 41 MP and uh, 29 attack. 41, 29. Hey there, David. You haven't missed too much. All right, Wizard Natasha. Will she get a custom outfit? Probably not. Game Gear has more <laughs> more serious uh, ratings than uh, the old Sega Genesis. Okay, 4129. She did not change her MP or attack, as far as I can see. So it looks like promoting might just keep your stats the same in this game. I can't remember, but seems to be. Anyway, Wizard. There you go. I was hoping at least their portraits might update, but maybe not so much. All right, Jaha. 30 HP, 50, 50 attack, maybe? He shall become a gladiator. It was always more interesting in the first Shining Forest where you actually lost stats when you promoted. But uh, I guess that's not happening. At least I don't think so. If anyone noticed stats going down, you let me know. All right. Eric, Knights into Paladin. The cheating? We didn't do any cheating. Oh, Robert's telling you lies again in chat. Always remember, <laughs> when Robert leaves you guys uh, notes in chat, you've got a, at best, 50-50 chance of them being accurate. <laughs> See, like that one, you definitely don't want to trust that one. <laughs> All right, Eric, leveled up. Sure, Paladin. Pally, Pally, Pally. A Pally Pal. Okay, I'm over my promotion party. This has been kind of lackluster. Come on, promotion. Give me something cool. Anything. I mean, we'll be able to equip some good weapons, so it's fine. But And we're going to get some really good level ups soon. I can feel it. So what do you think a monk will turn into? A M monk. A mega monk, as they like to be called. Robert for mod, boy. I don't know if he could handle that. I don't think Chat could handle that. So we got a mega monk, and then we've got a priest. The priest will become a vicer. Lots of vices, as priests do. Vice grip. Okay, next up, the ranger. I wonder what the ranger will promote into. I actually don't know. Six movement. Just keep an eye on that. It might go up. A, a bow nut. Definitely a bow nut. 
that's something that's real. Because the word knight starts with a K, so it can't be a bow knight. That's a bow nut. <laughs> uh, same movement, but promoted. Archers will promote to a snip snip. Uh, poor Chester getting a snip. Well, maybe no more children for Chester. Oh, our battle sprites are updating. If you're looking at the uh, the thing I'm not looking at. If you're looking at the uh, little guys walking around on screen. So that's good. May the mage. This is the furry mage. Gets promoted to a whiz mage. Yeah, definitely a whiz mage. Congratulations, May. It should just be a major. Major. After mage, you become major. <laughs> I, I would change the names of all these if I was... Custom, custom blue edits. Okay, that's all the promotion party. Yay! Look at all those lovely sprites on screen there. Yeah, they got some upgrades. Feel free to buy some goodies, though. First off, we need we need artillery. <laughs> it's uh, it's mandatory to upgrade your archers to actually use artillery shells. Because the main difference for archers is they go from using a bow to a gun. <laughs> so now, now they've got guns. Uh, what else do we want to upgrade here? Maybe the battle glove? If we're going to punch stuff. There we go. Luke is better at punching slightly. And uh, broadsword. Actually, I've already got enough of these. Because I, I can give... I've got a broadsword on Deanna already, and the only other people that use swords are a Higgins, who's got a critical sword, and Claude, who also has a critical sword. Or we could switch one of those to uh, our main character. Uh, so we could bring some chrome lances, they're very shiny, and we don't need one on whoever has a halberd. I probably won't bring... Uh, three paladins all at once. So we just need to buy one chrome lance. And that's pretty much it, honestly. Yeah, not too many weapons to buy, but maybe next chapter we'll get some good stuff. Alright, let's move some items around and equip and get our party ready to go. Now, can Deanna use... No, no sort of high F for you. That's too bad. Oh, we've got a heat axe for Jaha somewhere. I guess we should sell some of these garbage weapons, too. Uh, we can probably equip the Protect Staff now. That's a good up upgrade. Okay, we're going to trade that up. Might trade that with uh, Deanna... There's the heat axe. I'm actually not even sure if I'm going to bring Higgins, to be totally honest. Yes, Shining Force CD, it's actually the Game Gear versions of Gaiden 1 and 2. And also some new content, because there is a book 3 and 4, which do not have any equivalent on the Game Gear from the Gaiden games. So it's a little bit bigger than they are. But we're not quite there yet. I wonder if we should give the Demon Rod to anyone. It's probably cursed. But it does do more uh, physical damage. Hey, Natasha, you want a cursed weapon? I don't think that's worth it. Usually cursed just means you, you, know, you waste your turns. Okay, so we got to sell some stuff. Got to move that halberd over before I forget. Super good weapon. Probably the best weapon for... For Dawn or Eric. Looks like Eric's managed to pull ahead in terms of uh, weapon power. Interesting. Anything else to move before I get out of here? Oh yeah, I was going to go Critical Sword to um, Deanna in exchange for the Broadsword. Because Deanna needs a little bit more, like, Deanna doesn't have as many eight, uh, strength as uh, Claude does. 
Okay, and then we need to equip stuff, so I don't forget in battle, of course. There you go, 56. Decent attack. Heat axe, 55, also pretty high. So we've got Chrome Lance, and we'll hold on to the Power Spear. It's not that much worse. Halberd, and a Power Spear. All salt shells are good. I might move the mobile. The I might move the uh, the running ring. We'll see. Protect staff for me and Sarah. We could move one. We have two protect staffs, so I could move one to one of my other promoted mages if I wanted, or uh, my other healer maybe. We've got a spare healing. Oh yeah, we've got to equip this. Sixty-four damage, Claude. You're a you're crazy. I'm not sure you can ride a centaur. Uh, centaur racing is complicated, probably. Okay, so we're gonna sell some of our garbage. Like a regular spear? We don't need no regular spears. Might be the only way to get a ranged weapon for Randolph. <laughs> no, we'll get, we'll probably find a Valkyrie at some point for a third spear. Okay, we don't need any of these any old bows anymore. Robin arrows were pretty good. Nice pre-promote long-range weapons, but not as good as assault shells. No power glove. It's so bad. We'll keep the power spear, though. And we'll keep this other power spear. And we'll get rid of the battle. Oh, I should use that uh, quick chicken before I forget. I like the idea of keeping the protect ring on Natasha, seeing as she's a... Uh, hero. You know, you lose the map if she dies. And she's a mage, so she doesn't get quite that much defense. Okay, that should be enough purchasing and trading around. All we gotta do is use that quick chicken, and then we're ready to go. I guess maybe decide who we're bringing to battle. So who needs two to four agility? It's kind of the least useful of the stats. Probably just going to give it to Claude. Uh, having him go first seems fine. I already gave him the running pimento, so kind of helps out a little bit. Now, we could save and reload until we get the max, but I don't really care that much about the chicken. Hey, we got the minimum roll. That's a shame. Oh, well. No big deal. Okay. And uh, for now... I think Chester got... Did he get plus one movement on promotion? Because he's got eight now. The running ring's only plus two. I like to give it to someone that, you know, falls behind and needs a little bit of help. Because there's no Kanto. It's not like Fire Emblem. I don't think I'm going to be bringing Luke, probably. Even Slade is kind of on the cutting block, honestly. Graham is decent, but he's so frail. Like, his damage is fine, but his defense is trash. My mages are also kind of sucking pretty bad. I need to keep them... I need to keep working at them to get level 4 spells, but they are not great. Honestly? Maybe I should be bringing more paladins. Because Randolph is really good. He's got a lot of defense. And then there's Road. And there's Higgins. Let's give it to Higgins. Higgins is, uh... I don't know. I don't know if he's any good in this game, but, uh... I like ninjas, and, uh... He's... It's a ninja with five movement. It's just not good. <laughs> Alright, and let's pick our party. So, we definitely want to bring Dawn, and we're definitely cutting someone... I don't want to bring three paladins. I like to sh diversify a little bit. And then I don't think I'm going to bring Luke. 
So if I bring Rode, we'll have two Gladiators. If I bring Randolph, we'll have three Paladins. If I bring Luke, that's my third healer. And he's... I don't think he's worth it. He probably gets good attack growth. At least in Book 1, our monks had a lot of power. I think it was Cray or something. Got like three attack every level up. But, um... Yeah, this will be fine. Anyway, boy, that was a slow promotion party. Let's get out here and show off our new guys. So, let's do this chapter one more time. It's, uh, it's, it's worth it, I would say, uh, fat guy in speedo. Um, it's pretty fun. It's not the most complicated Shining Force game. It's definitely got... It's, like, designed for the game gear, so the maps are pretty small, but... Yeah, that's fine. I do like everyone's new outfits, though. Sprites are been, have been updated. So we'll do the party split again once we get past the first sort of uh, zombie at rush. So we've got May for one side, Natasha for the other for mages. Ah, uh, what does Higgins count as? Hmm. Boy, this is Golden Knight. Eric looking hot. I like that. Um... I guess we'll count him, like, the opposite of Jaha. Yeah, the lack of the world's a little bit sad. But again, Game Gear didn't have a lot of memory, so... I feel like it makes sense, it's just unfortunate. Okay, one knight to each side. One archer to each side. Okay, we drew the Cerberus down. It's got the, uh, what was the name of the very first Shining Force game? The, uh, the Dungeon Crawler. It's got the same kind of town as that, basically. Now, Jaha, keeping in mind, his defense is actually bad, so don't actually rush him out there. It looks like he's got a lot of armor, but it's a lie. It's, it's made of cardboard. Okay. So, Slade doesn't really need to combat. Shining in the Darkness, that's the one. Whack! <laughs> Whack again! Okay, well, good thing. Puppy dodged that one. Bad dog. Then our hero comes in with a new fancy graphics. That's a little bit overkill there, Deanna, but alright. But yeah, we're back up to getting tons of experience for every fight. So we should be getting our levels real quick for the for the next little while. Uh, I think if Deanna goes left, then Claude has to go to the right to kind of keep the parties balanced. And Natasha's going left. So it should be six on each side. One healer, one mage, one archer, one paladin, one melee unit, and then one extra. We need to get Dawn healed. Keep May safe. But yeah, this should be a little bit easier than the last time. Uh, the difference is, of course, now we can get some serious level ups. So I should try to get the level 1s, all the level 1 units, try to get uh, kills where possible. Still not doing a ton of damage there, Jaha. You're definitely not a very good warrior. I think, is Slade supposed to be a dwarf? I thought he was a human, but he might just be a boring old dwarf man. Oh yeah, our first time with our new guns! I mean, it's definitely a gun, right? <laughs> Looks kind of like a crossbow, but nah. Alright, now, don't expect much out of Higgins. I know future tubers, you're all excited because we just recruited a ninja. But he's not a real ninja, he's a snb. His, his class is SNB, so, uh... Saturday night boy. Honestly, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. SNB. Nah, I got nothing. It must mean something, but I don't know what. Shinobi? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. 
Why didn't they just go with ninja? Everyone knows what a ninja is. Shinobi's just like Japanese for ninja, right? <laughs> or I guess ninja's just English for shinobi. Look, I haven't watched enough Naruto to know all those names. Can't can't blame me. I'm just I'm just winging it here. Yeah, the translation for this could use some work for sure. They reused too many names from Shining Force 1 and 2 that they probably shouldn't have. Let's see if I can use uh, my bird to lure somebody down. He's already level 9, so he does not need the XP. Uh, well, we have some AoE potential here. Let's, uh... Yeah, we'll throw some... Not Bolt 2, just some regular Bolt. No kills, but 28 damage should mean, you know, 20 experience. Yeah, I think it's just, there probably was Japanese names, like proper names for all the new characters here. And the translators just, I just feel like they got lazy. They're like, well, everybody knows Jaha and Slade, so let's just use those and then now your Slade is no longer a rat ninja, and it's just kind of weird. Because there are literally a lot of the Shining Force 1 heroes still alive in this game, and their names got mistranslated too. So there is like Luke and Ken and some of them all hanging out. Maybe Mei, I think. Uh, yeah, there's a Pegasus Knight up there. He's going to charge down and kill... He's going to fly down and kill Graham is what's going to happen. Or Higgins. Now there are some new things from this game that weren't in any other Shining Force. Uh, this map does have a new type of enemy that you wouldn't find in Shining Force 1 or 2. If you're just watching for the first time. It's just not on screen yet, because it's a trap. Alright. Come on, Jaha, you gotta get something done. At least Jaha is a dwarf both times. Dwarf gladiator. I never I never got a lot of use out of Jaha in, in Shining Force 2 either, really. He was always my second bench after Kiwi. <laughs> Pretty sure. Okay, we gotta keep Graham out of the way. He's got no defense. Didn't lure anyone down yet. This guy's got what? Five move, I think? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Attack. We are pretty close to the right spot, but not quite. There we go. Critical hit. Boo. Okay, the uh, Pegasus Knight is not moving over as expected. Probably ran Cloud out a little bit too far ahead. There we go. 12 damage. Yeah, we gotta get some uh, promotion level ups here. We'll probably start seeing some plus 2 or 3 defense on at least some characters. That should, uh, that should feel nice after all those poor level ups at trying to get to level 20. <laughs> But hey, we keep those stats. Every level up we got before 20, we we keep those stats forever. They're permanent. So it's worth it. To be honest, if you're playing along, you should probably promote around level 15 or 16 again, just like usual. Sticking it out all the way to level 20 is not really the way to play. Not sanely. I like the fact that Deanna's got like a suit of plate mail now. That's pretty cool. Reminds me of uh, Max in Shining Force 1. Mm, Graham's got some armor on his uh, centaur too. Not bad. 
I do like the character design. Shining Force has always had really nice character design, in my opinion. Um, probably better than Fire Emblem, as a general rule. It's a bit cartoony, maybe, but I've I just I prefer this one a little bit more, basically. Art design, music. I mean, Fire Emblem's got some good music too, but Shining Force. I think it's got a little bit. That's hard to say. Music's close. Okay, I don't want Higgins to steal the kill right now. Just keep the kills for people at level one. Chester actually has a surprisingly high amount of defense. So nothing to worry about here. In fact, I should compare Chester to Jaha, because I think Chester might have more defense than Jaha. I should have compared all my level 1 paladins to see who was the best. Uh, 29 defense on the Sniper versus 25 defense on the Gladiator. That's really poor. Jaha sucks. Oh, this is also our Halberd. One of our strongest weapons right there. No good use for Bolt in this kind of map, because the enemies are so split up, but, you know, one day. I would say most Shining Force CD maps, the uh, enemies are split up pretty, pretty, pretty well. Like there's not a lot of grouping. Someone took a hit over here, right? A little. Still haven't seen any level 2s, but one of these days, the experience will flow, the stats will grow. And we'll lure that guy over. Death balloons, what are those? Shoot it! Kill it with fire! Pretty good damage. 32 XP, also pretty solid. Okay, we'll use Claude to not kill. Yeah. Natasha can't get close enough to get a kill. Poor wizards, man. Wizards need something. They need some kind of buff in this game. They need something. Alright, here we go. Chester gets the first level up. Of course, it's my sniper. The elf. What you got? HP plus two, defense plus three. Zero attack. This is my archer tank. I think uh, maybe maybe his stats got mixed up with Jaha. <laughs> no attack up, three defense up. Yeah, I wish their def I wish their attack and defense were swapped. <laughs> I. All right. Should we run the ninja up? What do you guys want to see? You want to see uh, our shinobi's amazing attack? It's so good. You'll never believe how powerful his jump attack is. Oh, wait. He just throws sand now. That's not my Hanzu. So, yeah. Not a huge fan of that one. Ow. My hero. Should probably uh, deal with this thing over here too. Double attack! You go, Dawn. So 
So my plan would be for Deanna to kill the balloon thing. Okay, we lured down another enemy. How's your defense looking over here, uh, Eric? Pretty good, pretty good. Okay. So, Death Balloon, what you got? What? It definitely gets that uh, flying evasion. For something that's supposed to be a mine, it dodges way too often. Well. I guess Graham gets the kill. Why not? It's fine. There we go. Death Balloon explodes! Radius 2, 15 damage to anybody nearby. Probably enemies included. Alright, HP 1, attack 1. Oh, what a good promotion level up for my archers. Boy, are we missing out by not promoting early. Okay. I have to say, uh, the archer level ups have been a little bit sad. Okay, how about my mage level ups? They're gonna be way better, right? Also, this is like Natasha's first attack as a wizard. I like her fancy blue cloak, though. That's nice. Cape and a skirt. It's not too bad, not too bad. Our tank sniper. I guess he's kind of like a brass gunner, right? He gets all the defense and no offense. At least he has six movements. I don't think the brass gunners, they stay at five. I think. All right, well, we're, we're moving through here at a pretty good speed. Let's just make it... I'll try to block him in so he can't just run down and snipe my, uh, my healers. Critical hit. 26 damage. Eric. Running around, stabbing things. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. Not great for promotion level, but... Alright. Maybe our first level up. Maybe level 2 is not very good, but level 3, that's where the real stats will show up. Uh, I don't want to use tickets for that. Trouble is, if we can't kill it in the, sometimes one, sometimes two turns, they'll just blow up. And then we get no XP. Yeah, and Sarah is definitely going to hit level 20 if I keep her in the team just from random healing. She's got so much MP now that it's going to be very difficult not to overlevel her. Well, Chester doesn't do much damage, but... You know, I think I want Jaha to get the kill this time around. Or even better, May. Magic definitely falling off pretty hard at this point in the game. I could go look up when you learn uh, level 4 Freeze or level 4 Blaze. But it's probably going to take a long time now. Probably like level 12 promoted or something like that. Which is just so far into the end game, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, we could go after that guy, but what I'm going to do first is try to deal with this uh, death balloon before it pops. Level 2, HP 1, attack 1, defense 3, and quickness 1. Very good level up for our knight. That's the kind of thing I want to see on my knights. Good stuff, or my paladins now. 
I'll let Higgins fight the uh, Hawkman a little at least. Critical hits, 28 damage. He does have a critical sword, so he gets crits more easily. Uh, right, Jaha was gonna get that kill, but then he did. <laughs> he was gonna get it, but then I changed my mind. Okay, uh, well, Dawn has all this defense now, so this is fine. Four damage, no problem. A little bit dangerous in, up close to the uh, balloon, but let's have Deanna finish the balloon off. This will blow up. Assuming we hit it. I mean, I was a little bit concerned there, but... 16 damage and... What? I didn't think it could do 18. I thought it was 15 or 16. Oh, dang it. <laughs> um, another really good level up. HP 2, MP 1, attack 1, defense 3. And, of course, we killed one of our friends. I really didn't think they could do 18 damage. That's... Well, that's how it is. Sometimes you die. Definitely not ideal though, that's for sure. Well, Natasha, you can certainly finish this one off. Pretty easy. I think every single chapter that I've played after my year-long break here on the Shining Force CD, we've had someone die. I can't finish a map without my mistake. Level 3! HP 2, Defense 3, Quickness 1, Zero Attack. What is going on? Our sniper now has 35 defense and has gotten zero attack up in the last two levels. That, that's, uh, that's pretty weird. That might literally be a bug, to be honest. <laughs> With growth rates just assigned to the wrong person. We'll see. Alright, Jaha, finish this up. Don't take 25 damage, please. So let's see if our uh, Gladiator can get some defense up, right? HP 3, attack 1, defense 2. That's what we need on a Gladiator. Lots of HP and 2 defense. That's at least a reasonable level up for them. So there should be one more death balloon coming. Sadly, we uh, we had a we had a death. At least he hits hard. He's doing okay. I mean, he's got a heat axe, which is a top of the line weapon, a little bit better than the average weapon we've got because uh, we found it. You know, it's a it's a it's one tier higher than what we can purchase. Um, do that. But yeah, 56 attack is pretty good. For now. Okay, we'll try to lure down the mage. Get Deanna up here. The sniper's the front liner. What a crazy game. Maybe I should give the movement ring to the sniper so they can run up front and tank. Okay. Oh, they're doing my trick. That was a pretty good maneuver, actually. If they had uh, a bit more, a, a few more units, getting a double tack against my uh, my healer there, good. Pretty smart play, actually. That's a, maybe the smartest move we've seen them make. I don't think it was actually smart. It just they were looking for a target, and the cleric happened to have the lowest defense. But you know, it does look good. And of course, we can't even fight back because that's a really good spot. OK, 
Okay, well. Good trick. Better heal up after that, because another double attack and we're dead. I shouldn't have grouped everyone up. There's the sorcerer, sorcerer with the ice two thing. I'll send Higgins up for this one. No Xylo, sadly. Not a lot of animals in this. HP 1, MP 2, Attack 2, Defense 2, Quit 1, and Katon. That's a good level up. That's what I need to see. 2 attack power. So that was our first ninja level up. And that was a good start. Uh, let's... We can now... Well, this, the downside of this location for the bow rider is whether we kill it or not, it is now trapped. It was a good move, but they needed some... Uh, some extra units to block off the backside to protect it. I also maybe should have killed the sorcerer instead, but whatever. Blocking the bow knight in seemed like a good idea. That's fine. We've got aura, so cleansing, healing all this up should be fine. Haha, <laughs> you can't attack anybody, punk. Snipe my uh, my healer. Well, that's, this is what we do. That's how we teach him. Actually, let's. Uh, these two units both need a bit of healing, so let's save a little bit of time. Get some aura in here. Remembering, of course, that in this game, you don't actually need to recover HP to get the full experience. So, you can heal someone at max HP and still train up if that's what you want to do. I'm going to try to lure this guy over. Uh, I'd rather kill the boss's uh, healer while they're split up. So, he can move five squares. One, two, three, four, five. So, as long as we're in range of him, if he will attack us, that'd be great. Because then we can fight him off before we fight the boss. We can also snipe, not snipe, but wrap this guy up with a little bit of ice. Ice, baby. Natasha is level 2. HP 2, MP 1, quick 1. Ew. Bad level, man. We'll put out some more bait for the uh, cleric thing. We could just charge in. But the boss, remember, gets two attacks, so, uh, two attacks per round, so he's very dangerous. This is probably our first actually dangerous boss, and we're, we're definitely going to want to get healed up first. Yeah, see? Two turns, and the cleric did not take the bait. Okay, let's set up an aura over here. for, I guess, next turn. So the way we'll want to handle this, um, we got to pay attention to turn order a little bit now. So, Deanna is very slow. So that's like the end of the round turn. Because the boss gets one free action at the beginning of a round. So before your highest agility character gets a turn, basically. Uh, although your agility rolls between like 0 and 200% or something nonsense. So it can be very difficult to guess what your current sort of speed stat is in game. The, the, the turn order algorithm is kind of weird in Shining Force. Not as uh, regulated as, say, Final Fantasy Tactics or something. Level 12 there. HP 1, MP 1, Attack 1, Defense 2, and Heal 4. Not the spell I wanted. Heal 4 kind of sucks. Super expensive. Range 1, full heal. Generally not worth it. Not unless you had, like, hundreds of HP. Alright, so...
Maybe the boss could burn his lightning on someone like Claude. Spell is just the other translation for uh, whatever the name of the wind spell is in Shining Force 2. I forget the name of it, but, you know. The cleric wind spell. Alright, so this guy takes the bait for Claude finally. You know, that one. So the boss has pulled back. Uh, wrong button, of course. How much movement? So he's got six movement and bolt two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. He could have just bolted us already. And if he does it twice in a row, people are dying. Oh, look, another death balloon. Haha. <laughs> I'm going to try to kill this cleric first. If I could kill this guy while the boss is away, that would definitely help. Sarah can't really help. Claude does a lot of damage, so he might be able to just finish it. Almost. Uh... This is probably suicidal, but, you know. If she, die if she dies, we have to redo this whole map. I'm I think Bolt 2 is what? 16 damage, give or take? I forget the exact damage value on it. Too much. And yeah, let's pull back. This will do, though. This is much safer. And we're split up a little better, even. Hey, Black Ring, I forgot about that, yeah. Cool. We got our own Black Ring now. Okay, he did not attack. So we're gonna deal with the... Uh, this guy. We could try to desoul. I wonder if these guys might be immune to it because they're, you know, mines. Let's give it a shot. Unaffected by magic. Well, that's a shame. Let's try to finish it off, though, or at least... <laughs> Death balloons are so hard to hit. It's just a balloon floating there, but we can't ever hit it. <laughs> oh, team. How about Eric? How are you going to do this? Can you finish it off? You did one hit. Good, good. Uh... Now, the next time we hit it, it's going to blow up. Throws dirt, the balloon misses. Yeah, okay, our ninja's not very good, I'll admit it. Okay, if I attack it now, it's going to explode, but, you know, that's fine. At least we'll get the experience for killing it. If it just blows up on its own, we won't get anything. If the boss had attacked, I would you know, not have done this. Of course, now we're low HP, maybe the boss will be like, ah, now's my chance. Certainly gave it a big group of explosion. Level 3, HP 2, attack 2, defense 3, yes! That's like top tier level up for my hero. So, Deanna's up to 34 defense, that's getting to be more respectable. Almost 60 attack power. Yeah, okay, let's just keep people out of range of the boss, I need to heal up again. Which we can do right now. I could use Aura 2 and heal everyone, but Aura 1 will be good enough. And that saves us a little bit of MP. Well, no one's died this map, right? No, someone did die, right? Who, who died early on? Someone always dies. I always miss somebody. What happened? It was... I was going to say, we're almost through with no deaths, but... Mm, my second night. So Dawn died, I guess. Dang. Well, uh... Okay, what I want to do, actually, is have Claude run in and smack him. But I want him to be at full health before we do that. So I'm going to move him down here. 
Because it's going to be easier to fight this boss without a big group. Probably. Yeah, female centaur girl. Dang it, why did I have to kill the one that Robert likes? Level 2! HP 1, MP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. Well, not the best, but definitely not the worst. Alright. And I do need to heal May up before she gets anywhere near the boss. Okay, that was two turns in a row, so now would be the time to attack if we had range. Because now we know the boss can't get in action for a little while. Also, are we healing? Do we even get 18 heal? No, in this game, promoted heal spell is actually only 15. I forgot about that. In Shining Force 2, at the very least, it's uh, 18. Not in range, not in range. Boo hoo, mamoo. Alright. Should we go for it? He's only got 65 HP, he just had a turn. Let's get our- uh, let's get everyone killed now. Alright. Deanna. If we can circle him, then we're super safe. Or if we just, you know, kill him. That's good damage. Alright. He chooses to attack physically. With magic. That's cool. He doesn't just smack you, he actually summons a little magic ball. Okay, well he's gotta be dead now. Unless he gets another action very quickly. Level 3, HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. In the first one, the hero got a satellite laser beam. Yeah, I don't think we get anything like that. I haven't seen a promoted crit yet, so we'll see. It was the promotion crits that got all the really fancy stuff, right? I think you might have even needed the Chaos Breaker equip for that one. Or whatever the name, Force Sword, whichever one it was. Okay, the whole point was to have Claude fly over here and smack him. They should probably handle it. There you go. 23 damage, easy. Good job, bird boy. You're a fine bird. I've been defeated, but I'll take as many of you. Ah! You! Yeah, what? Now I understand. You're the traitor. How could I be the traitor? I've been on team... Uh... Team Cyprus all game long. We crushed Algum. Yay! Three cheers! Hip hip. Let's hurry after King Wardor. So that was one of the bad guys that ran off at the beginning of the chapter. Did you hear Solo accuse someone of being a traitor? Nah, it couldn't be me. Deanna, do you know who the traitor is? Look, Book One followed Prince Nick, who traveled to Guardiana as a secretly hostile force because he's actually from Cyprus. So he was a traitor. Book 2 would not do the same thing with the hero for this one, right? There's no way. You have the same thing twice in a row. Leaving Solo behind, Wardrer and his men depart. Having conquered Algum Fort, the Cyprus army pursues the King of Ion. What will become of Prince Blue number 2? That's uh, Nick, technically. Who is Ion's traitor? We are nearing the final battle between Cyprus and Ion. Chapter 3, finish. Okay, before we do anything else, we're going to end the episode. So the future tubers have to wait on a cliffhanger before chapter 4 begins. So thanks for watching future tubers, but we have to call it here. I will see you next episode for the beginning of chapter 4 of book 2. Hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time.